E-Rupee is a new digital payment solution recently launched by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. This system is developed by National Payment Corporation of India that is NPCA in collaboration with the Department of Financial Services, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and National Health Authority. This instrument is expected to play an important role in the distribution of welfare benefits in the country. e -rupee is in the form of prepaid digital vouchers which is directly delivered to the mobile phones of beneficiaries. It can be used for purchase of specific goods or services but cannot be converted into cash or transferred to another person. It is in fact a person specific and purpose specific payment instrument that works with smartphones and also non-smartphones as well. The beneficiaries need not have a bank account to make use of the e rupee system. And it does not require a mobile app either. e rupee is issued by way of QR codes to beneficiaries having smartphones and by way of SMS strings for those not having smartphones. So, what is so revolutionary about e rupee Suppose the government wants to transfer some amount to a person. Instead of crediting the amount in its bank account, the government can authorize its bankers to issue e rupee to the beneficiary. Then the bank will be issuing e rupee vouchers via QR code if the beneficiary is having a smartphone or via SMS string if the beneficiary is having a non-smartphone. Once the beneficiary receives the QR code or SMS, he can take it to the merchant or service provider for availing the service. Then the merchant will be scanning the QR code or SMS provided by the beneficiary and an OTP will be received in the beneficiary's form. This OTP he is required to enter into the post machine of the merchant. Then the merchant's bank account will be immediately credited with the amount of the e-rupee voucher. Here there is no need of any debit or credit card, mobile app or internet banking for using this service. Traditionally, the non-smartphone population has struggled to adopt digital payments. This new system allows them to gradually use and accept digital methods which augurs well for the years to come. The instrument is person specific and purpose specific. When issued to a person, it can be used only by him and for the purpose for which it was issued. For instance, if the voucher is issued for COVID vaccines at government centers, the beneficiary will get the benefit only if he uses the voucher for vaccination purpose. It will not be accepted if presented by another person or used for some purpose other than vaccination. Then what is the difference between e rupee system and crediting the amount in the beneficiary's bank account? Well, in the traditional direct benefit transfer method to a bank account, there are chances that the specific services were not really availed and the money was used by the beneficiary for some other purpose. Suppose the cost of vaccine is paid to the beneficiary's account. He may utilize the amount for some other purpose and he may remain unvaccinated. It defeats the purpose for which the payment was made by the government. But once he is provided with the rupee, he will have to use it for vaccination purpose only and he will not be able to divert the amount for any other purpose or transfer it to some other persons for getting cash. This way, e rupee system helps the government to track the utilization of the benefits released by them. Here unlike distributing cash, which is an opaque instrument which leaves no trail, e rupee system ensures transparency in the utilization of funds distributed for various welfare initiatives. It can be used for delivering services under schemes meant for providing drugs and nutritional support under mother and child welfare schemes, TB eradication programs, drugs and diagnostics under schemes like Ayushman Bharat, Pradhan Mandri Jan Arogi Yojana, fertilizer subsidies, etc. Apart from government departments, e rupee system can be used by private sector also to distribute payments to their own employees or other beneficiaries in a simple, effective and transparent manner. If some organization wants to help someone for their medical treatment or education or any other purpose, the organization can approach their bankers and request them to issue payment in the form of e rupee vouchers 
which will be directly delivered to the mobile phones of the beneficiaries. Since EROP is person specific and purpose specific, the voucher will be used by the intended beneficiary for the intended purpose only. Diversion of funds can be prevented, making it a leak proof system for transfer of such benefits. Currently, the EROP platform has partnered with two banks, Punjab National Bank and Bank of Baroda. There are 11 banks enlisted with NPCA and more client banks will be added to the EROP platform to gain access to the EROP features. Hope this video has helped you in understanding the features of the just launched EROP system. If you found this video useful, please like, share, comment and also subscribe to our channel, Bankers Plus Academy. Thank you.